Hello there! In this video, we are going to take a look at the armor pieces I used to create a great female Commander Shepard inspired look in Star Wars The Old Republic. Stick around until the end of the video, where I will be showing you where to find more of my videos just like this one. I'm Eleva, and this is my What Am I Wearing Wednesday series, where I will show you what I am wearing in Star Wars The Old Republic. If you're new here, then make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on my top tips for some seriously good looking outfits. Femme Shep is one of my favorite protagonists from another great franchise, Mass Effect. So I of course did this look on a female trooper, because it's a soldier and it is a character who is voiced by the same voice actress, THE Jennifer Hale. So let's get started. To start out with, I am using the classic Despot's helmet. It can also just be the regular Despot's helmet, it doesn't matter as much. I chose this helmet specifically because it gets that red stripe across the helmet. The shape of it feels very much like Commander Shepard's helmet, although you don't have the same kind of visor, but I felt like it was the one that came closest. For the chest piece, I am using the Strategist's body armor with a dark grey and deep red dye module in. The chest piece you will not be able to acquire until level 75, it's part of a set bonus that you can buy at one of the vendors with tech fragments and 1 million credits. The dye module is from the cartel market and I had to purchase it from the GTN fairly expensive. Just FYI, a black and red dye module can actually make it look pretty cool as well if you want a cheaper option. Then I'm using the Malgus Reborn Gauntlets. I've chosen these because they dye well so it gives the details of the red color, as well as they are heavy armor without being bulky. They even have armor down onto the fingers, which gives a really really nice effect for a Commander Shepard. Then I'm using the Crimson Talons Belt. I had a bit of issues choosing the belt and have been through uh, quite a few of them. But I ultimately went with this one that has no extra buckles, no extra pockets or anything. It fits very well into the armor that is form-fitting and aerodynamic is a good word. For the legs, I am using two lock Horde's Greaves. I've chosen these because they give the sense of armor all the way up, even on the butt. Funny enough, Commander Shepard has armor on the butt. So... I went with this and it dyes pretty well with the dark grey colour and gives the details of the red stripes underneath. So yeah, I thought it, it fitted pretty well. Last but not least, I am using Malga's Reborn boots. These boots I really love for this set because they are heavy armoured, again without being excessively bulky, but fits very well into the Commander Shepard kind of armour. And they dye really well as well, like the gloves. It gives the details of the red, but accentuates the dark grey color as well. To top it all off, I am using the YV-24 Starforge Blaster Rifle with a hollow shield weapon tuning, just to give that little sense of an omni-tool kind of weapon. I know it's not completely the same, but I like it. I chose this rifle because it actually has always given me the feel of Mass Effect's weapons and I've always liked it because of that. And then with the Hollow Shield, I think it's a very very nice combination. Thank you for sticking around until the end of the video. If you're looking for more outfit tips, then check out my playlist of previous videos up in the right corner and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. And I would love to know how you would make this look, so let me know in the comments. Or better yet, show me on my brand new website, swartorfashion.com. Finally, I would like to thank my patrons for their continued support. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to become a patron for as little as $1 a month, then links and more details can be found in the description down below.